Hi, my name is Przemek Chojecki and this episode is about Transformers, but not Transformers like you might think about in video games, movies, it's natural language generation models, one of the most powerful right now, and there are plenty of Transformers on the market, so I wanted to make this short summarization in an article that I'm going to went through. Uh, the article is on Medium, I'm going to link that down below. Uh, so basically it all started with GPT-2, uh, the model which uh, was done by OpenAI last year. It came in February 2019 and as some of you might remember it was staged, meaning the release was staged. It didn't appear at first in its full glory uh, with 1.5 billion parameters. I think the first version was uh, something around like 300 million, 334 I guess, uh, 334 million parameters and, 120, and one, 127 million parameters. Uh, that was the first two models that were released uh, for people to test and only with time they added the, the stronger one with, which was uh, 774 million parameters and now they added the uh, 1.5 billion parameters that was the, the end of last year. So that's really great because that was the first really unexpected model which showed how strong uh, you can build a transformer. Uh, when the, the task is really simple, the, the only task that was given to a transformer, transformer was to predict the next word. And just based on this task, it managed to learn all the intricacies about the language, about how to model the language, and can solve much more advanced problems. Uh, so GPT-2 was a continuation of GPT-2 of GPT, uh, with ten times larger, and then still we have right now uh, other models, other transformers trained on much larger scale. So after GPT-2, um, just before the final release of the the largest model came Megatron from Nvidia. So that was the largest transformer, transformer with 8.3 billion parameters. Uh, so that was uh, over five times uh, larger than GPT-2 uh, and yeah it was trained on a lot of text basically and then just two months ago uh, three months ago right now in February 2020 so exactly one year after GPT-2 Microsoft has introduced Turing natural language generation model and that was a 17 parameter language 17 billion parameter language model uh, and basically it outperformed everything else so it was really a monster of a model trained of multiple, multiple G the best of the top notch G GPUs. Uh, you can also read about that because they had to use, a, they introduced a new library, Deep Speed, for training uh, simultaneously in parallel those different, this model. Uh, and it's really good. So uh, this, this article is basically summarizing that. And then if you go to the uh, original press release by Microsoft, you can see this is the comparison of the models that they did uh, with OpenAI being uh, here and uh, basically uh, Turing being at the very far end with also hooking face, uh, Nvidia Megatron. And they pretty much nicely discuss what's going on with this model. They give you a bunch of statistics and comparisons. What I really like is uh, this, first of all, zero shot questions and uh, summarizing, that was the best. So zero shot questions is like only answering questions without giving any context. Uh, so for example, they did here with when did World War II end and the machine is able to answer right away that World War II ended in 1945. So that, that's really great. And another thing is uh, abstractive summarization. So you can have both extractive and abstractive summarization and extractive summarization is probably the most common. It's just taking a bunch of sentences from the original document as a surrogate of a summary and abstractive is what mostly people are doing when they're thinking about generating a summary which is trying to write more consistently about the article itself, about the content uh, and actually the TNLG model is able to uh, do the abstractive summarization. So, so this is really interesting. Um, I'm right now trying to learn more about how you can use summarization. There's the previous model, Pegasus, which was also transformer-based language model for summarization. So it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, and yeah, uh, they haven't 
published any public code as far as I can tell. Uh, well, that, that's a that, that, that's a drawback, uh, but this is probably just the beginning of the race uh, of transformers. There will be much more, many more coming soon because, as you can see, those models are very successful in uh, text generation. They become better and better, and it seems like transformer architecture with the correct text and then fine tuning gives you tremendous results. Thank you for your attention, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like and see you in the next episode.